What is voting below the line? There are two options for filling out your white ballot paper for the Australian Senate. You can vote above the line based on the party or below the line for individual candidates. Above the line, number at least six choices, or if voting below the line, you must number at least 12 choices. Either way, you can choose more than the recommended number, and the more you choose, the better. If you don't fill out enough boxes, there's a chance that the parties can decide where your vote goes. Due to above the line voting, some senators are elected with very low personal votes. In 2016, One Nation Senator Malcolm Roberts took his seat after receiving just 77 below the line first preference votes. He was later replaced by Fraser Anning, who only received 19 votes. They won their places based on the number of votes for their party. Understandably, places high on the party's Senate ticket are highly coveted by politicians chasing one of each state's six Senate seats. When voting for the Senate, consider voting below the line. The number of candidates might be daunting, but it gives you more say about who makes up this powerful House of Parliament.